two. Okay. I think we're good to go. Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Nelson Victoria, which is round at number five of the Hobie Kayak Brim Series. This is the Atomic Round. Atomic is a lure company that is distributed in Asia Pacific by Frogley's Offshore. This particular weekend, we've got a two-day series, Saturdays and Sunny. We've got 51 anglers here, ACT, New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, and Victoria have made the journey. We have all in the open division. From that, we have several different subcategories. We have four in the youth, and that's a 16 to 21 age group. Two in the women's, three in the masters, and that's 60 to 64 years of age, and uh, one first timer. And the idea behind it is you need, don't need to own a hobby kayak. You just need to have the requirements of live wells, et cetera, and you can come fish these events free of charge. These events are not possible without the following sponsors, uh, Daiwa, Powerpole, Lawrence, Gerber, TT Lures, Lure Fans, Strike Pro, Mortgage Corp, Hobie Polarized Sunglasses, Pro Lure, Cranka, JML, and Hobie Dealers throughout Australia. All the, a lot of these names are gear that the guys will be using today. Anglers are fishing for cash and prizes, and once we get into over 50, we pay down to 10th places. Um, they have prize packs with uh, lures and rods and reels and things like that, around around $3,000 mark. We also have the Atomic Big Brim, Atomic being the naming rights sponsor. It's for the biggest brim over the two-day period, and that's currently sitting with Tony Petty from Victoria. Uh, he weighed in yesterday a 1.13 brim here, so he's leading. Now, for those who are watching here and not familiar with our stuff, all the fish are caught and kept into a live well. Uh, we've nominated three fish per session, three on Saturday, three on Sunday. We have a couple of Lawrence markers out on the waterway. The fish are released live to uh, continue to grow all the way through. On the legal side of things, what we do to protect it is a state legal limit plus 10 centimeters. So for this particular round, they're 29 centimeters to the tip. The winds have been fairly kind to us on Saturday and Sunday. Friday was a bit of a, a bit blowy and a little bit chilly. Um, but uh, with our forecasting, it's pretty good. We had kind of that 17 to 13 knots on Saturday a lot of west in it and today we had kind of you know 5.30 to 6 was about 18 knots and it's kind of gone down to about 13 knots towards the end of the day a little bit more south in it today than uh, yesterday but all in all ideal conditions uh, with a high overhead cloud which uh, makes the fishing really good now we had Dale Baxter just weigh in Dale is helping us uh, Pachano Dale thank you put chance together please Dale Come on. you have a big crowd mate that's right um, Dale is on the camera for us, uh, filling in for some of the hubby guys, and he's currently in the lead. He Woo! is, <laughs> there we go, 2.96 kilos, and that's a total of six fish um, onto it, and that just disappeared on me there. Oh, that's better. Now, in these different divisions, you have the youth division leading is Cullen D. Matina. This is the 16 to 21 year uh, age groups. They also qualify the Open. He's on three fish so far at 2.10. The women's, um, uh, is we haven't weighed in today, but we've got two girls in the women's. In the Masters, 60 to 64, Lex Forbes is leading that division at 1.23 kilos. Um, that rounds out those divisions. If scoring's ready, we'll get stuck into it. In the flashing light you want on, if I can reach it. There we go. And first up is Gary Hansen. He's in the Masters and had two fish yesterday, three fish today, much better. Naturally, yesterday we were asking questions and they wouldn't tell us very much. How are you? That's better. Wet and cold, but other than that, good. What did you do different? Um, caught fish. That's all right. That's a start. We're going to weigh one of these for Big Brim? No, I don't think it'll go that good. You might as well. It's a $100 decision. Won't be over all a right. kilo. You need 2.11 kilos to take the lead. Do we have a new leader? Boom, 2.32, put your hands together. The Masters guy's showing it's how it's done. Well done, first place. I take the mic, you take the bag, that's how it works. And we'll grab this bag here. Need to talk off Tony Petty, it's $100 there. That's definitely the one. Let's have a look. Who was the, um, don't know. Are you reckon 900? Let's have a look. Do we have it? 8.5, just short, but it is the sixth largest brim we've weighed in 
here this particular weekend. 1.13 is good. Fantastic seeing Gary leading this comp. Next, we have Chris Miller from uh, South Australia. No fish yesterday. Was hoping for the Tiger Woods green jacket today, but that didn't happen. It did not. But you got two. Yep. Do anything different? Yeah, I started at the front and then decided to go up halfway through the day. What lures are you throwing today? Today I was on the uh, Gulp Crabby and uh, at the front, uh, Z-Man Watermelon. Okay, it's two fish are going to come in at 1.09. You needed a few more yesterday, but thanks for coming. Thank Great you. Great to see you guys here. It's about a five-hour journey for those uh, not familiar with over here. These guys in South Australia have done some massive y yards and miles this year. Mods, how are you, mate? Three oh. yesterday, yeah. one today. <laughs> that, I don't want to talk about it. Well, the nice thing is the highlight was that rainbow over you that was over mm. there. I think Rachel's yeah. got a photograph. I did a lot of pedaling. You certainly did. I covered a lot of ways. Thank you. 0.46. Thank you. A lot of the guys were fishing probably two and a half to three Ks uh, past Donovan's. That's some of the range that these guys were covering. John Clisby is next. Three fish yesterday. 1.74 kilos. One today. Rut row. Yes, it was a bit of a day. That's okay. All right. Let's have a look. You're getting some points because after this round, we roll in the points. You need yep. five to rank Angler of the Year points. 0.83. Well done. Beautiful. Thank you. We've also got another prize called the Mortgage Corp Monster Mover, and it's for the most improved angler from day one to day two. It's a nice prize for him in here. Kevin Vardy's next. Two yesterday, one today. You did the miles. Did the miles. Got half a smile. Got half a smile. Get the miles, do the smiles. Didn't work today, but that's all right. Well done. 0 0.30. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Gary Hansen still leading. He's also now leading in the Masters Division 60 to 64. Brett Crow is next. Zero yesterday on this here today. One, you made it the stage. That's good. You get points now. Good, thank you. Points are good. Yeah, I'll because take it. you finished, I think, ninth overall in Angler of the Year last year. Ninth or tenth? Uh, tenth, followed, Tenth, yeah. that's all right. Yeah. Just out of the money. Our Hobie Fishing World Series, uh, you, we rank them from uh, Angler of the Year points. Perfect. Point six four. This six five. Six five. Yep. This particular year, our um, Hobie Fishing World's number eight is on the Gold Coast uh, in mid July. Last year was in a mall, Sweden, chasing big pike. So we go everywhere: Netherlands, United States, uh, China twice. That's Hobie Fishing Worlds. Pretty good. Kevin, come on up, mate. Nice hat. None yesterday, three today. Three what today. did you do different? Uh, everyone else sort of went past Taylor's and the bridge, so I thought I'd hit everywhere that everyone else wasn't. So it's um, it happens a lot. There's a lot of water people leave behind, and they go you know 15 k's up river. Where a lot of the cases over the last since 2009, some of the best fishing was in about a kilometer here, and they kind of buzzed by it. It's proved to it. You've done well. This could be the mo uh, monster mover from Mortgage Corp. Let's see where we up the kales. Not too shabby. 1.81 kilos. You got to be happy with that. You're on stage. Well done, mate. Perfect. Good to see. I've seen so many comps. One just off the starting line. It's amazing over the years. Got a few bags coming in. It's a long haul between the um, where the boats are and where we're here. We have some restrictions with the foreshore management of where we can set up and where we can't, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> We're unsure which one it is. But I tell you what, I've had a ball here. Great support from the kiosk. They've been waking up at 5 in the morning every morning, making coffees and breakfast. Across the road, over at the, uh, the pub, and also the, uh, we've been getting pizzas uh, from the BP station. So the locals really like it. Tony Petty. Tony, Tony, Tony. You had two yesterday. You needed three today. You only have one. You're getting points, but... Yeah, it was a tough round. It was a tough round. I think it's possibly the temperature change. I believe the week before was fairly hot here, and then we had a sudden change of temperature drop down. Similar? Yeah, I believe so. I think so. That's what we're saying anyway. Yeah, we'll stick to that. Or lockjaw. Point four three. Well done. Uh, Put you into you. ninth place. I don't think you're going to let hang in there long for that. But Simon Morley should be next. Two for two. <laughs> You need two, two, two kilos to take the lead. I jagged the last one on the corner on the way back. <laughs> I'm telling you, it always happens right outside the start line is sometimes the best fishing. But yeah, two for two is all right. There we go. You're getting points. 
2.73. Fantastic. Good. Andrew Good. Deese just qualified for Hobie Fishing Worlds 8 by qualifying, I think, either 8th or 9th. He'll be representing Australia um, in the, uh, on the Gold Coast. <coughs> David Shanahan, you had a good start. You had three for 1.98. Good bag, just short of two kilos. The leader only had 2.11 yesterday. And you got three fish in this one. Yep. We'll just cancel that out. You got three again today. You need 1.21 to take the lead. What do you reckon? I'll do that. You'll do that. I'll that was a bit of confidence. That was like, <laughs> was it possible? Here we go. Maybe. All right. Maybe. That's better. What do we got? 1.64. Put your hands together. New leader from Victoria, David Shanahan. Where did you catch these fish at today? It's out the front. Out the day. front. What were you using today? Uh, grub all day. Um, motor oil and bloodworm. Uh, Zedman? Yep. Zedman. And uh, what jig head were you using? Uh, there's a one sixteenth and a one twentieth. Fairly light. Yep. How was the uh, was it outgoing current most of the day out there? Was, yeah, it didn't no in coming at all. It was quite we a big bank yesterday of sand. it didn't happen because the wind pushing in it held things up a bit. It's a big so. bank of sand though, so it just didn't. All happen. on sand flats. Yep. Done. Fantastic. Zed Man. They're one of the sponsors through TT Lures. Motor oil is the color, and light jig heads are seem to be working better than that. Alex Whitehead. One and one. Long journey. How are you, Marty? Yeah, pretty good. Disappointed or happy? Nah, it's all good. It's all good. It's fishing. That's it. And the best part, you only have five hours to drive home. Yeah, yeah. Nah, we. I'm um, two hours outside of Adelaide. So uh, yeah. eight hours. Hang on. For the guys from Sydney driving, thirteen hours. Well done, mate. Cheers. Good to see you. Brogdon Zeus, <laughs> three yesterday. You need 1.77. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen today. It could have, uh, but uh, that's fishing. That's so. fishing. Same areas yesterday? Uh, same area, yes. Uh, same got, lures? Uh, same lures. Uh, Little squidgy wiggler that's and bloodworm? Wiggler, bloodworm got uh, broken off, busted off twice, dropped two at the boat, and that's six undersized. So, uh, tale of woe. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's see where you end up overall then after all that. Point eight five. You need to listen to coach more often is yes. what I think you do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not too shabby. David Shanahan's leading. Gary Hackton second. Dale Baxter in third. Victoria so far in the top seven places. Corey Gallagher has done well here before. I think he's got a second, I think, in believe 2016 thereabouts. Uh, yeah, and he's, I came first the year prior to that too, Steve. There you go. Now, this is okay. What did you do different? Uh, nothing actually. I went to the exact same spot through the same lure and it just a bit less traffic down there today. Two fish yesterday for 0.88, three today. You need 2.75. Yeah. Don't, don't have that. But that's not too bad. Oh man, yesterday we killed you. 2.22 puts you in the third place. Well done. Did you want to wait for a big brim or not? Uh, I think there's some bigger ones to come. So. Okay, thank you work. very much. Well done. There was, uh, I think, 85 brim caught yesterday. I think it was 48 point something kilos, and the average was 0 0.60. So those guys need to get three fish every single day to do it. Brad Clark is next. He had three. A lighter bag yesterday for three at 1.60. Leader, like I said, had 2.11. Second place was 2.12 kilos. One fish today. Long day? Yeah, it was a long day. Long um, day. Just couldn't get the bites at the front, so... Well, you're not the only one. There'll be quite a few. 4.44. 4. Well done. 16 people did not catch fish yesterday, and all those are in the running for the Mortgage Corp Monster Mover. Francis D. Matina. Okay, bag for up here. Three fish yesterday. Only two today. Yeah, only two. A little bit of a tough day today, um, especially watching that young fella. Uh, I was going to say, we... Um, Junior is going to, you're going to put him in the trailer so you don't have to listen to him on the way home? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to hear it. I know. He'll just be telling you, I threw this and I threw that. And All right. That's right. You smoked him last round. So that's no, good. Last, last three rounds, actually. Last three yeah. rounds. <laughs> Did you hear that? Last three rounds. Perfect. Well done, Matty. Thank you for coming. Thank you. These guys are from Newcastle, so they've got a bit of a haul to come over here. Byron Hill, all on the same bus. I think he'll probably put uh, Cullen also in the trailer. Three yesterday, three today. Now, when we saw you about midday, you had none. Yeah, yeah, I had to grind it out. Um, that was at day. Donovan's we saw you first? It was, yeah, different day to what it was yesterday. Yesterday, lots of fish. Uh, today, 
Uh, a little bit more tricky, yeah. What were you throwing today mainly? Uh, the crab, just crab. So the crank crab and the gulp crabby got a, a camo. Work. Yeah, exactly right. One twenty eighth, yeah. maybe. Uh, yes, but um, there was some good drop offs, so I had to go a little heavier. Get it down um, there. But yeah, the one twenty eighth. All right, you need two point zero six to take know. the lead. We're going to get you into a check. I think we will. 1.84 second place. Woo. Not too bad so far. Let's we'll see what's you. behind you. Well done. One of the dealer's teams, Hunter Watersports, he's out of Belmont. Made the journey. Ruth Beebe, none yesterday. Tale of woes. Meltdown. Sure was. Yep, yesterday. And you got a nice good. fish today. I did. Now, how late in the day did you get this? Well, probably about quarter past one. Quarter past one. Yep. All right. Last minute dash. <laughs> Last minute dash. Nice fish. Going to come in at 0.78. Perfect. Perfect. Don't worry, it's weighing. Good recovery. You want to weigh? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Well, why not? you got nothing to do. Actually, you don't have to. It's right there. It's only that one fish. Beautiful. That's it. Perfect. Dennis Villamore. Okay bag yesterday. Three for 1.71. We saw this guy probably about 8 o'clock this morning, and he had three fish already. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I already upgraded 804 and then my uh, live will. Did you hear that, Matt Petri? <laughs> he was upgrading at 8 o'clock. Yeah, same spot where I caught the fish yesterday. Same place, just just before you. I know, upgrade. <laughs> How many times did you upgrade today? Um, just only one. Only uh, one. Yeah, but I caught a couple of fish, like 33, 30. Okay, you need yeah, 1.92 kilos. Not going to happen. Oh, yes, it is. Perfect, 1.97. Make some noise, please. We've got a new leader here. Thank what, you you want to stop now? <laughs> I would. Well done, Dennis. Thank you. He's leading at 3.68 kilos. Before the series started, I thought you're going to need at least 4, probably 4.2 or higher to uh, take this one out. Ben Gibbs from South Australia. We did not see him. That's zero fish or donuts as we call it, and no donuts today. How are you, matey? Yeah, good, thanks. A bit better. You're on stage. A bit better than yesterday. Was It'll make the drive home a little bit less painful. Yeah, I was very deflated yesterday. Uh, deflated is a word that 18, sorry, 16 people had. Yeah. 0.68, you're on the runs. Thank you. Cheers. And you also get points. If you don't catch fish each day, you get no points. And I'll tell you what, at the end of the season, they add up quickly. Kobe Rothall, Youth Division from South Australia. Three fish eight, nice bag, 1.99. Three today. We had you on Facebook Live this morning, I think about uh, 15 past 7 o'clock, and you already had your two fish. Yeah, um, them two fish stayed like that till about, I don't know, 11 o'clock. It's funny because some of the anglers actually watched the live feeds, and the amount of people that all of a sudden scrambled <laughs> to join you, it's funny how that works. You had a lot of shadows all of a sudden, but then you went that way. Yeah, I, was, I went upriver. All right, you need 1.7 to take the lead. What do you reckon? Should. Should. Is that so like a, a nice maybe funny. should or a confident should? It's a confident. Confident should. It's a nice funny Youth one. division, 16 to 21, also in the open. Easily done. 2.13. Put your hands together. Come on. That's it. Where's Martin? Where's the That's better. Come on. Do you want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? Yeah, yeah. Here's the deal. You're, you're new to this. You take the bag. I take the mine. I don't handle fish. <laughs> for doing this in 2009, I've still got spikes in my hands. I've had enough. <laughs> Jeez, that was heavy. Did you put lead in him? No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. One fish coming at 0.86. A little bit light. They are a little bit thin here um, for some reason. The small ones seem to be a bit thicker, but I think these guys are in current more. Typically, fish in current are more active, and generally you'll find that they're a little bit thinner. But what do I know? Fantastic. Well done, a new leader. I love it. The kid's showing us how to do it. So what I like about the series. It's got a wide range. Girls, old guys, youth, it's pretty good. Nathan Wright. I think he got second place at uh, Bim River, was it? Yep. Bim River. None yesterday. You did something different. Nah, uh, just... Tied a lure on? Yep, pretty much. I pretty much. Pay. Do you fish up or down? Uh, up. Up, yep. Okay, here we go. You need 4.13 <laughs> kilos to take the lead. Close, 1.21. <laughs> Good recovery. I tell you what, yep. for two fish, that's not bad. Well done, that was the average. 0.60 is the average over the two-day period. 
Kobe from South Australia. This, we technically call this a South Australian round. Martin Gittens is next. One fish yesterday. Smashed it. One today. Twice on stage. I'm getting worried. How are you, mate? Oh, happiest weekend of my life, Dad. <laughs> oh, God. I reckon I've got this. <laughs> you reckon you've got this? <laughs> All right, you need 3.45 kilos. Yep. Is yep. it going to be close? Yep, yep. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight. Yep. It's going to be tight. <laughs> All right. 0.46. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Well done, mate. That's good. Uh, my arm is tingling from a heart attack. That's all right. Lindsay Pryke, none yesterday. Lindsay fishes uh, out of Victoria quite a bit, power boats and kayaks. How are you, matey? Good. You got one. Finally got something. That's be better drive home now, isn't it? Yeah. It's okay. It's important. No donuts twice. 0.46. Thank you, mate. Glad yes. you made the journey and supporting the series. We can't thank these anglers enough who um, support our series over the years. We've been running since 2009. Who we got next here? Hopefully, we, uh, Jim, we can get the top 10 guys, if at all possible, to weigh in last. Perfect. Joshua Davies, Youth Division, 16 to 21. 0.48. Have you got a better bag than yesterday? No. No. <laughs> Not at all. Same, same, I reckon. It'll be very close. Okay. You got fish both days, though. There's a lot Just. of people who didn't even land it, and it's a long drive home. Yes, he's small, 0.31, yeah, but you right. got fish. That's all that's important. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. Well done. Glad to see it. I think we had f yep, four in the youth division. These guys, you'll watch these in a couple of years' time. They'll be knocking all these guys off, which is good. John Rayo from Victoria. One yesterday, one today. Trying to see if you can at least beat yesterday's score. Oh, probably not. I'm small. saying no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Yeah, nah. Point three five. Yeah, That's it. good. Thank you for coming to the event. Thank you. Nice hat too, by the way. Kobe still leading. Um, Dennis Villamore is in second from Victoria at three point eight six. Just a little bit behind is David Shanahan at three point six two. Fourth place, first of the New South Wales guys in there at 3.41 is Byron Hill. And running out the top five at 3.18 from Victoria is Gary Hansen in the open and also into the Masters division, which is 16 to 64. Scott Boyd is next. Two fish yesterday for 1.19 kilos. You need 2.94, so we know that's not going to happen. But you have a good time here? Yeah, yeah, of course. I like this place. Nice little town. Pretty quiet. Everyone gets along. The police didn't come by and harass us. I'm pretty happy about that. Not too shabby. 0.88. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, well Steve. done. Appreciate it. It's got some awesome videos on YouTube going from fishing various places, bass, bram, you name it. Joshua, one yesterday, two today. That's a bit of an improvement. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm great. Very happy. Improvement that's, indeed. That's it. Well, you're running in, in the running for the Monster Mover, the Mortgage Corp. These two fish are going to come in at 1.17 kilos. Fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. A few more of the bags are starting to make their way down. I'm um, still, we got, uh, like I said, leading is 4.12. I called it 4.20 or higher to take it. We'll find out how good it is. Stephen Pryke, yesterday, three. We saw him early on. He had two. And just couldn't get that third. I got three in there. You did? Oh, Jimbo. <laughs> no, I'm what are you doing? <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, now you got three. Is yeah, it got better three, than yeah. yesterday? I got more fish today. I think it'll go a little bit heavier. Okay, you need 2.22. 2. Nah. Nah? That's a confident no. Let's see where we're at. 1.82 oh, puts you into second place, though. That's good. Where'd you catch all these fish? Upriver? Uh, all of them were at Donovan's today. Donovan's. And what were you throwing mainly? Mostly crabs. Crab? What color? Uh, cranker crabs? Yeah, cranker crabs were pretty what much. What color were you using? Uh, I was Brackish Fiddler. Okay. And the light one or the heavy one? Uh, lights. Light ones? Perfect. Well done. Cranker have come on to the series a couple of years ago as a sponsor. He builds a fantastic lure that I think almost 100% of the anglers in Brim anyway throw his lures. Mitch King, three for 1.87. Three today. We do know that, yes, he has a nice fish. A nice fish. There's one in there that's really going to hurt me. but I know. He needs 2.26 kilos. <laughs> Not going to happen. All right. But you've got three on both days. Yeah. That's a nice fish. 
two point <laughs> two one. That one fish, as you just uh, said, gonna hurt, hurt you. That really hurt. But Where did you catch was. these fish? There, did you go up the front or up the river? No, nah, I didn't waste any time down the front this weekend. I went sort of where I feel a bit more at home, and which is up the river, um, just hitting snags, edges, rock walls. Um, I had a nice little session when that sun popped out yes. for about an hour. I yes. could actually do some sight fishing and. That uh, gave me some confidence again to uh, start filling the bag because it was looking a bit grim there for the first few hours. So that was. The sun comes out, you can actually see them roll a bit on there. Yeah, exactly, you I could flick. see. I could see the silver one rolling, and it, it wasn't happening often. But um, every now and then, you'd see one, and you'd just make a beeline for it, and I hope that that cast works. I remember uh, watching Clancy and Freebie fish here a lot, and they always seemed to fish one side of the river other than the other. Was there a pattern of that at all, or didn't matter at all? To the left. The left side. There you go. Freebie will tell you the same thing. You want to weigh this for Big Brim? Of course you do. We'll weigh it. Here you go. You take the bag. Take the mic. Left side of the river. There you go. Nice dark fish. You need 1.13 kilos to knock off Tony Pitty. It's, it's going to be close. I don't know. have no idea. Let's have a look here. Oh, he hasn't got this scale on for... It hasn't popped up, Jimbo. There you go. Now you're ready. Does he do it? Nope. Nine six. Well done, matey. Nice fish. Currently in second place from Victoria. Well done. There's a lot of Europeans watching right now. There's a, they've never seen Brim before. We've got most of Europe bringing teams to Australia. Uh, Hubby Fishing Worlds eight in the Gold Coast. Richard Patterson, good bag yesterday. What position were we were in yesterday? I was sitting fifth yesterday. Fifth yesterday with two point six. You need two point zero seven, huh? not going to be that it's not but top five is not bad checks here we go where are we going to end up at there 1.52 kilos yeah, puts you into sixth place there you Cheers. go well done matey it's funny you go from a mall sweden catching meter pike down to catching gold coast brim it's going to be a big shock to the the system ben shuey Three fish yesterday, not a bad effort, 2.16. Only two today, but that's all right. Yeah, only two today, mate. That's all right. Good day in the water? Yeah, no, I had a good day. Cast of thousands? Yeah, one right. first cast and one last cast. Just oh, yeah, that's it. That's the best two you've ever day. All right, two fish are going to come in at 1.03. Pops him up into eighth place. We pay down to tenth. We'll see if you can hang on. Thank you. Thanks, mate. How the bag cycling through? Pretty good? David Wida was leading yesterday at two point. Darry, sorry, I keep saying Daryl. Uh, two point one nine kilos. Three today. You need one point nine four. Oh, don't think so. Nah. Now we saw you probably a couple of times a day, and you didn't have any fish. So what time <laughs> did they come on the bite for you? In the last half hour, I got these three. So yeah. You're leaving a little bit late then. Too late, mate. Now, how far up the river were you when the last bite came in there? Um, no, it was probably just at the second boat ramp around there. So. But you were miles up past that earlier. Yeah, that's right. All right. You need 1.94 yeah. kilos. Just short. 1.86. Third place so far. Not too bad. That's close. Thanks, Steve. Excellent, mate. Good to see. It's funny how all the good guys, no matter how bad the fishing, they always seem to end up there. Cullen D. Matina. Youth Division, uh, 16 to 21. He won the Warnable uh, round to qualify for the Australian Championships. This year was at Foster, New South Wales. How are you, matey? Yeah, not bad. Um, three for 2.10. We saw you a bit further upstream at Donovan's. You need 2.03 kilos to take the lead. What do you reckon? We'll see. We'll Close. see. Close. Look at these guys. Yeah, close, real close. 2.43 kilos. Um, not too shabby. That puts you in. Is he the last to weigh in? He is the last to weigh in. It's going to be a long drive home for Byron and Francis. I, that's all I got to say. You're going to weigh one for Big Brim? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Which one's bigger? Hey, Matt, which one's bigger? That's bad when they're all the same size. You need 1.13. I don't know. He's saying no. I'm saying no. 0.88. Well done. We're going to do some calculations. Then we're going to come back with the uh, prize giving and uh, work out who's going to get home, bring home the bacon. 
It'll be about three minutes, and then we'll roll straight into this. I'm ready to go, I think, if you are, Jim, if everyone's still here. There's no rush. I got to turn that off. Right, yeah, here we'll go. We'll get stuck into it so people can get on the road. Now, all these rounds, we have a Mortgage Corp, Neil Carstairs. Um, financial advice, planning, superannuation, mortgages. He's the guy to contact. The link's are on our website at hubbyfishing.com.au. This is the most improved angler from day one to day two. In this case, Kevin Beams got zero fish on a day one, three fish for 1.81. Kevin, please come on up. The Mortgage Corp Monster Mover. got Ben Harris from uh, representing Binks Marine in South Australia, the Hobie dealer, to help out. And if you guys can come forward and kind of stand there, and then Dale will give you a smiling face. Perfect. Thank you. Rightio, in the divisions now, in the Masters, uh, with five fish for 3.18 kilos is Gary Hansen. Gary, come on up. He's a regular to the scene. I think he's taken more prizes off me than anyone this year. Price packs around the average between $150 and $300 of a wide variety of lures. And these are lures that actually use, not lures that no one wants. We worked hard on that. Women's division, Tale of Woes on day one. Just recovered on day two. One fish at .78 takes out the girls. Well done, Ruth. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Fantastic. Youth Division, we know who that is. Six fish for 4.53. I told you it's going to be on the plus side of 4.20. Three on day one at 2.10. Cracking bag on day two at 2.43 kilos. Cullen D. Matina, well done. Youth and the Open, that's pretty good. Now we'll go into the Big Brim while you're there. Or you're not there. Tony Petty, where's Tony Petty? Come on, Tony. 1.13 of Nelson's biggest that we could find this particular weekend. Takes home the, takes home the Atomic Big Brim, the naming rights sponsors. It's $100 for your efforts. Well done. All right, we're going to roll into the top ten. Everyone here needs to thank um, Mitch King. He was the 50th guy to enter. And once you do that, we go from five payouts down to ten. So he's looking pretty good. Tenth place from Victoria, five fish for 3.19 kilos. Ben Shuey, $90. Well done. Had a good day, good start on day one, uh, 2.16 kilos. So uh, I think he was in the top three or four. Perfect. Byron Hill from New South Wales is next into ninth place. Sixth place for 3.41 kilos, 1.10. He's going to buy some uh, earplugs for the ride home. Well done, Byron. In uh, eighth place, Richard Patterson, six fish for 3.58 kilos. The money is slowly going up, $130 for his efforts. S wearing the Pro Lure gear. These guys get a lot of support from the tackle manufacturers. It was good to see. In seventh place, six fish for 3.62 kilos. The weights are coming up and the money is coming up. Uh, $150 for David Shanahan. And also, most importantly, valuable points for Angle of the Year which will probably go to Hobby Fishing Worlds 9, which we haven't decided what country yet. Well done, then. In sixth place, six fish for 3.68 kilos, $170. Had two great days, 1.71 on day one and 1.97 on day two, is Dennis Villamore. He's excited. I think is your maybe your first top ten. It is. First top 10. Well done. Make some noise. First time been fished a long, long time, and he gets a check. Uh, your wife just rang too and said you can just deposit that straight in, so it's all right. No problem. It's all right. She'll just give it the BSB number, and it's good. Thanks, Money. Appreciate it. Happy days. I love it. Stephen Pryke, uh, Team Hubby Polarized Sunglasses, six fish for 3.73, $190. Helps cover some fuel costs. Stephen Pryke, well done. Sponsored by Atomic Lures as well, the name of the right sponsor, so it worked out good. Throwing cranker crabs. <laughs> all the good guys, you have to throw what wins the comp. That's all you. If you're not on stage, you can't get the banner. That's how it works. Leader on day number one, Darren Weida. Six fish for 4.05. First guy to break into the four kilo range for six fish, $220. Well done. Day two bag hurt a little bit, but it's fantastic to see it. Is this his first Hobie comp? Yeah? No? Yeah? Yeah, it's been a while since you've seen it. Well, you've taken some more money off me. <laughs> All right, had a cracker bag on day number two with three for 2.21, total of 4.08 kilos for six, $480, Mitch King. Well done. And he had lots of free drinks last night by being the number 50 into it. It's pretty exciting the next two places. The kids have taken it out. Perfect, perfect. All right. Um, day one, we caught him talking on the phone, so I thought as a tournament director I would give him a call and just say, what are you doing? I, what are you doing on the phone? It's out of the rules. And just to let him know ahead of time for next round. Day two, cracker bag. 7.10, we had two fish on Facebook Live up the front. And six fish for 4.12 kilo, youth division and in the open. Kobe Ruffle, uh, 750 bucks, smackaroos.
And don't go away. Want to have a little bit of a chat? Come over here. Congratulations. How are you, mate? Good? Yeah, good. Do you expect that? No, no. Um, I just sort of thought, oh, it's 20 minutes drive down the road and why not give it a go? Is this your first comp? Yeah, yeah. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Yeah, no, they're good. It's, uh, it's a good group of guys. I think we honestly had a... When we started these series in 2000, it was really fun. And then we got really serious in the middle, and no one was having a lot of fun. And now it's kind of changed again. And I think everyone here is having a ball. We look after you in the morning for things to eat. Pieces when you come back yeah. in. Good group of guys. We try to put on the best fisheries in the best locations mm -hmm. at the best time of year as we can. Uh, tell us, what did you do on day one? Did you stay up the front the entire time? Yeah, so I, I fished up the front um, most of the day, just drifting this, this bank just over, just behind the hill there. Um, I found a pattern late on uh, the squidgy biotuffs in the UV bloodworm. Yep. Um, just popping them out of the weed, um, and I got three quick ones and an upgrade. So, um, yeah, and then day two, um, I got the two fish you've seen. By 715. That was on the squidgies, and then went up, ground it out, and got that um, 850 gram on a crab just in front of mods, actually, which made it better. Oh, <laughs> um, and then... Just saying. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, 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 thanks for that. Um, and then, yeah, I lost two bigger fish just on the way back. Okay. So. Now, um, tell us what rods and reels you're using this weekend. Um, I'll sort of run a mix of everything. Um, well, give us a rundown of what everything was. I run a Miller Grub Freak. Miller. Probably one South of the... South Coast, Aladella. He's a custom rod builder. I've got some of his good gears. Very good gear. One of the one of the better rods I've ever used. Um, and then just uh, some of the 13 fishing envies and omens. Okay, reels? Um, Soul 3. Um, Daiwa, yeah, yes, good. Daiwa Soul 3. Daiwa's a sponsor, that was a good answer. Um, and a couple of Dialuviuses I got. Oh, music to our Daiwa's ears, thank and you very much. A couple more on the way that just didn't quite rock up okay. in time. But um, what main line are you using? Uh, Yamatoya Resin Shella, okay. and a six pound. Okay, um, so. excellent. Well, well done. Are you going to fish some more rounds? Yeah, I was just talking to Crafty and they're going to Marlow, so I might hitch a ride maybe. Did you know you just qualified for the Australian Championships out of this How round? How good's that? You tell me. <sighs> no, nah, it's pretty good. Pretty stoked with that. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, we haven't worked out where it is. We've narrowed it down, but it's going to be kind of January, February next year, t uh, 2020. So first time here, first fishing, second in the comp, brought some money home for mom, and then also take in Australian cr uh, Championships. Well done. Pretty stoked with that. There you go. Put your hands together. Come on. Make some noise. Well done. That's half good. Fantastic. A guy that's probably the fastest guy in any kayak we've seen. And um, had a good round. That's all you can say. Day two weight was, uh, day one was three for 2.10. He was in, I think, top four or five. Day two smashed it at 2.43. First one above the 4.20, which I named myself. 4.53 kilos for six fish. Taking home fourteen hundred and thirteen thirty dollars is Cullen Di Matena. <coughs> I know it hurts to clap, Byron, but you have to. You know. So <laughs> he's gonna walk home. You said. <laughs> How are you? Well done. I like the words this morning. I cracked the pattern this morning. Yeah, I definitely did. So I worked it out on prefish, but yesterday was a bit tough. Yeah. Now, did you fish up the front yesterday at all? I fished for the first maybe hour and a half at the front, and then... Any love down there? Ah, uh, no. I got some fish there on prefish, but there was heaps of kayaks, so I decided to go up to Donovan's and fish banks. Well, y yesterday, it was like 80% of the whole field all up there. It was a car park, and there's like kayaks everywhere, and they're only a handful. Today, I think it was 26 or 28, Jim and I counted, to head up. It was kind of an even split. And a lot of the big bags today all came from there. Obviously, yesterday, a lot of the bags came from up the front as well. Um, what rods, line, and reels are you using now? Uh, I was using a Daiwa Silver Wolf 701, 1-3 to three kilo, uh, with a Caldea reel and a 2,000 Caldea reel, 4-pound J-Braid and 4-pound FC Rock for later. FC Rock is kind of the standard right now that everyone's kind of here. What lures did you throw yesterday? The same lures? Yeah, yesterday it was the same. It was the... Two-inch gulp crabby on a 128th uh, jigged hook size two. Okay, and today was the same thing. Same thing. Yep. Now a lot of these things we've seen Chris Burbage do it as well. Is in some of these banks they have two or three ledges below. 
where you were fishing, was it ledges or just a single structure all the way through? Uh, so they were undercut banks. Yes. And I was looking for the undercut banks that had over um, trees overhanging. That's where the fish seemed to be hanging. Seemed to be hanging out. So undercut with a bit of structure brint on the top. Yeah. Skip casting in? St yeah, skip casting under. And, and uh, let them just sit there for a while. Because yeah, sometimes probably. black rim here, if you move it too soon, they don't do it. Sometimes you just sit there and just kind of do nothing for a while. Yeah, probably like 20, 30 seconds, just letting it sit before I start twitching. We watched a lot of people fish today, and that's the mistake a lot of them had. Not necessarily a mistake, is they throw the lure in, and they want to do something right away. And a lot of times it's a splash, and the fish will disappear for a second. If you leave it alone, they want to come back to where they were. And the people who sat there the longest seem to be able to pull those big fish out. Yeah, I had to give it a long time. I was telling one guy, if you could take up smoking... Don't do it. Throw the thing out, have a cigarette, come back and wind it back in, the fish are on. Don't do that. It's a health announcement. Just, you, especially you, the youth here. You didn't hear that, all right? Just like I say. But you have to wait, and that's the thing. Everyone was doing this all day long. They're throwing it out. It hit the bottom, and they start doing this, and it yeah. just doesn't work here. There's a few other places. Uh, Malakuta is one, and uh, also Marlow is the same thing. You just got to sit there and let the fish work out that it's not in vain in the air, and it's good. What are you going to do with the money? Uh, probably a couple new combos. A yeah. couple new combos. Was that the right answer, Dad? Oh, <laughs> Mom doesn't mind then. All right, because otherwise you got to pay for it anyway. So it works out well. Put your hands together again. Qualified for the Australian Championships again and took out a round this year, Colin D. Martino. Uh, just quickly, uh, thank you to James from Hunter Water Sports. Also, uh, Hobie Polarized and uh, Spider Sports. What about Byron and your dad for driving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks to Byron and Dad for driving. That was good. <laughs> you can't drive yet, and these guys are your meal ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands one more together. Thank you guys for coming here this week. Thank you. Um, we're going to get photos for first, second, third. Dale Baxter, thank you very much. Matt Petrie on the bump tub. Jim Berry on scoring. Rachel, there you are. <laughs> She's not there anymore. Rachel, thank you very much for coming down. You're always a pleasure to be here helping on scoring. And for all the town folks, thanks for making us feel at home. We had a great time here just don't run out of beer next time that's all you say it's all right thank you very much have a good afternoon thanks mate thank first second and third if you can please make your way up third place is mitch king if he's still around there he is mitch can you come up and get the photos thanks